This video is about the health system and environmental hazards in the original System Shock. For this I am using the tools from the deck package of Inky Blackness in version 0.10.5. Future releases might have a different interface, yet the concept remains the same. Hacker has two replenishable resources, energy and health. When energy is depleted, most hardware and some weapons can't be used. When health is depleted, it's either game over or a resurrection action chain has been set up. Real-world tiles can have environmental effects, with most of them reducing health over time. In level control mode, the types and strength of environmental effects can be configured. Ceilings can emit radiation, and floors can either be biocontaminated or have different gravity. These settings, including the strength, are global to the level. You can't have biocontamination and different gravity in the same level. Per tile you then set which of the effects are active. There is a dedicated action that allows to remove or even apply such hazards. The original game uses this action only once, on level R, to remove radiation. Similarly, there is also an action to change health and or power directly. Though the regular way of replenishing these resources is through the use of consumables or devices. As briefly noted in the video about transportation, the game performs the resurrection sequence upon death only if a player death watch trigger is executed. The conversion switches in the original game toggle a variable per level, which is used as a condition for this trigger. To properly resurrect hacker, this trigger then should execute the action to add some health, as well as transport hacker to somewhere safe. The museum does not have such a switch. It always resurrects. In cyberspace, integrity is similar to health and is restored by consuming restoratives. Getting kicked out of cyberspace causes fatigue, as well as some damage. Though, hacker cannot die from cyberspace dumps. To summarize, strength and types of environmental effects are configured on level scope, actions exist to change health as well as current effects on hacker, and post-mortem confusion often turns into pre-mortem confusion, as per the hacker's guide to sin. Always keep a backup of your files, and don't forget to sort the fries.